Welcome to a brief intro to setting up and installing Contao. Uh, Contao is a, a great CMS that uh, we use here at HB, and it's really easy to, to, to get up and going, and hopefully I can take you through this in this short demo. Um, one of the things that you're going to want to do to start out is just download the latest version of Contao. Um, I've already downloaded that and, and actually unzipped it to a uh, folder on our web server. Um, right now, that's sitting here, uh, just basically pointing at this base installation. Um, what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to rename this to uh, demo um, so that we can just uh, use this for this purposes here. Um, so with that demo folder sitting in our web server, the all, everything unzipped from what uh, the, the zip file that I downloaded, um, the next step I'm going to need to do is I'm, I'm going to set up a database really quick. Um, and I can do that on our web server here. Um, it's just basically going to be a matter of creating a new database um, for these purposes. Um, MySQL, general MySQL database here, been created. Um, so what I can do now is actually just fire up my web server, point it at this demo folder that I unzipped everything to, uh, visit that. Um, you can see here, I'm, I'm already getting messages back from Contao. It's good telling me installation has not been completed. I need to go through the entire installation process. I do that by going to uh, cont uh, the, whatever my, my root uh, base URL is, slash Contao slash install.php. I'm going to accept the license here. What I'm going to do is just create a uh, an install tool password. This just secures this tool here for uh, um, the purposes of you know being able to get in and manipulate this database. Um, here I'm going to put in some uh, brief username login uh, information for my MySQL database. Um, just going to drop that in there. Uh, database that I just set up as demo. Um, once I save those settings. You can see here then it just Contao wants me to update the database. This goes through this, the install process on the on the database itself, just getting all the fields into the right places. Um, and once that's done, I can quickly just create a backend user um, based on my email, set up a password for it, um, and create my admin account. Um, so you can see there. Uh, you know, I get congratulations, you've successfully installed Contao. I'm going to do a little zoom in at this point here just so uh, things will be a little easier to read. Um, so I, I can go directly now to the back end login um, if I put in my username and password that I just created. Um, you can see here uh, this takes me to the back end where it's running in maintenance mode, um, meaning that the the, it's a fresh installation, nothing's really happening here. You can see if I go to the front end of the website, um, I'm, what I'm going to get is just a, a warning message telling me that there's no root page found. Um, if I uh, disable this maintenance mode, I'm still going to get that error because there's just nothing set up here. So Contao is just basically outputting a default error message saying, hey, you, you don't have anything set up. Um, the back end of Contao here, you'll see that there's uh, back end modules. Things are organized by content. Um, this is where you're going to do a lot of the editing for the, the pages on your site. Uh, you've got a layout section. This is where you know most of the uh, page site structures, as well as the themes and everything that gets applied goes uh, in there. There's an account manager for managing members, which are front end uh, access groups, as well as users and user groups, which are the back end access for this particular back end uh, installation here. And then you have some different functions here. There's a file manager. Uh, there's a just general settings, um, extension catalog, so on and so forth. Um, not really super important other than the file manager, um, which is the, the main way that you're going to get files to and from your website setup. Um, so let's first get something to uh, spit out onto the front end. Um, in order to do that, uh, the first step that you're going to want to take is to create a theme. 
So uh, a theme just kind of encapsulates all the, the CSS files, the, uh, the modules, uh, anything that you're uh, looking to add to the site is all part of the theme itself. So we're just going to call this demo theme. Um, I'm going to basically just put in some default information there. Um, you can see I have access now with that demo theme to style sheets, uh, modules, as well as page layouts. And, and one of the things that Contao just needs uh, uh, in order to display a page is, is a default layout. Um, so what I'm going to do is just quickly create, uh, say, a layout for my home page here. Um, give it some different options as far as rows. Now when it says rows, that's basically whether or not you want to include header, main row, and footer. If you hold your mouse over these, it'll give you a little tooltip information as far as what those are. Um, I'm going to create one with a header and a footer. When I do that, it refreshes the page, asks me if I want to set the height of that. I usually do these within CSS. Um, this is more of just a, a shortcut that Contao gives you to output inline CSS styles that are going to determine your header height and footer height here. Um, columns, uh, so you have the choice between left, right, and main, or any various combinations in between. I'm going to choose uh, left, right, and main for that. Again, you get to specify widths in certain situations, but I, I like to basically take care of that with custom CSS. Um, you can load various frameworks in. Um, Contel comes with a, a layout builder, a responsive layout, a uh, 12-column grid, just some basic um, uh, CSS frameworks. Depending on which ones you use, you may or may not want to look into these for your particular uh, setup. Um, it's all up to you. I, I choose to just kind of work with everything from the ground up or import my own framework. Um, style sheets. Uh, so this is if you if you prefer not to work so, with Contao. Contao contains its own CSS editor as part of the back end. If if that's not something you're interested in doing and just you're working with plain old style sheets, uh, you can add those manually. Um, just upload them to the file manager and you'll have access to them here. Um, as you can see here, you can use CSS, uh, SCSS, or last files. Uh, um, it, it'll parse those files and output those to CSS and uh, it, what Contao does is combine everything uh, into just one uh, minified CSS file for you. Um, here's where you can include modules. Now we'll dive into this a little bit uh, more later on but uh, for these purposes let's just uh, we're gonna leave articles as a module in the main column um, you got some expert settings here, uh, customizing your page template and, and uh, things like that. Um, we're not going to dive into the expert settings in this session. We'll save that for another tutorial. Um, jQuery uh, or MooTools, uh, Contao ships with both of these. These are JavaScript frameworks which are really going to determine um, you know what types of things you're going to have. You can see here uh, in terms of uh, accordions or uh, a light box pop-up, um, media player, uh, content slider, and table sort. It, it's basically just whether or not you wanted to load the jQuery framework. You have, have the option to load it from a CDN, Content Delivery Network, like on, on jQuery.com. Or if you want to use it with a, a local file that ships with Contao, you have the option to do that too. Um, as far as uh, adding the page layout, I'm just going to save this. Got my default layout. Um, so the next step to get something to output on the front page, you can see if I refresh here, still nothing. Um, but if that's because we just don't have a website set up, so, uh, or a site root, as Contao calls it. Uh, because Contao is set up to be able to host multiple websites at the same time, um, it needs just needs uh, a defined site root in order to start. So we're going to call this one demo site. Um, page type is going to be website root. We'll get into the other types of pages uh, a little later on. Um, you uh, have to specify a language as well as a fallback for that language. Um, Contao is a very uh, great uh, platform for managing multilingual websites. Um, this is just another way to do it. Um, there's some other DNS settings on here that you could set up, such as the actual domain name. Uh, you could specify a separate files URL. Um, if you were using a CDN, um, this would get uh, uh, appended to all of the, the files. 
um, that you were using in that case. Um, and uh, you know you have some other settings on here, creating an XML sitemap, uh, protecting the page with access protection, uh, things like that. But we're just going to publish this for right now. Um, so this is just our root site. Um, so now if I refresh, we've got our the root site message goes away. Now we've got no active pages. Um, we're going to fix that right now. New page. Um, then you know most of the time when you're moving or creating something new or uh, you know copying and pasting anything within Contao, it's a, usually a two-step process. First step is telling the system that you want to be able to do that, and then the next one is telling it where you want to put it. So in this case, you have two options. You can see these little icons that appeared after I clicked new, and if you didn't, if you missed that, I'll go back and do that. Um, so if I click new page. Now these icons appear asking me where I want to put it. I can paste it after, um, which would essentially create another node that was on the same level as this, which is not what I want to do. Um, and then paste into, which will create a node for a page, uh, in this case my home page, with an, uh, a URL of index, and uh, which is the page alias. Um, this will get translated into index.html or whatever you want, uh, essentially, the, the, uh, the output of the front end URL to be. Um, this can be in using folder structures, directories, and things like that. Um, page type, regular page. Um, the only other thing I'm going to change on here is assigning a layout. Um, you can see here it's defaulted to my demo theme homepage that I've created. Uh, I can also specify a separate mobile page layout if uh, Contao detects that there's the visitors using a mobile device, um, which is pretty neat. Um, in this case, I'm just going to publish this, save and close. If I open this up here, you can see I've got a demo site with a home installed. Uh, and now, if I refresh, you can see I've output a blank page. That's because I successfully have set up a root site. Uh, I have a page in it that has an assigned page layout from one of my themes. Um, you can see here if I unpublish this site, uh, the, this root page here um, by uh, clicking on the icon there, refresh, back to no active pages, turn it back on, I've got active pages. And I can test this by going into articles Opening this up, this this mirrors the site structure that I was just looking at under layout site structure. Only now I can actually add content to the pages. Um, you have uh, articles, which are you know basically larger block containers for the actual content, and then you can put as many different content elements as you can see here. I have a text element uh, in it as I want. So I am a headline. You can see here that's an H1 tag. I'm going to drop some text in there. Here is some text for you. Uh, I can control a lot of different things in here, custom templates for this outputting this. I can add an image. Uh, I can add my own CSS IDs and classes. I can put space in front of and after this element. I can also control its, in, its visibility when I want it to show to and from. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to save and close this. Uh, on the back end, what you see is it's just you know a, a rendered output of that for the back end of the site, but on the front end, I am a headline. Here's some text for you. Um, it's that's really the best place to get started, and, and you know in this short amount of time, I was able to get a, a, a general theme set up uh, on here, uh, create a page layout, uh, create a page within the site structure, and start adding content to that page. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot of styling going on here. Um, that's where adding CSS uh, files is going to, to help a lot. Um, you can create your, your new style sheets here, um, specify everything in the CSS editor here with Contaus. Um, you know, my, my layout style sheet that's going to have media type all, I can even write a media query for it. Um, or similar to, to things in, in uh, SCSS and, and SAS, you can, you can create global variables with keep using keys and values that can then be carried across to uh, you know used as variables in the CSS and when if you don't know what I'm talking about you can see here that but just by creating a new format for the layouts 
CSS the, that you can specify you know, your tags, uh, you can categorize your CSS styles, um, things like width, height, minimum width, maximum width, anything that you basically would come across on a regular basis for uh, organizing your CSS is going to start here. Um, so people who aren't necessarily as familiar with CSS, um, this, this editor I find provides a nice uh, way for them to get started with and familiarize them with uh, different aspects of CSS. Um, you can see here just things like you know uh, 20 pixel size for the font size on our body tag, um, outputs to body font size 20 pix. Contout just renders all this stuff uh, it, nicely for you with this editor. Um, so now if I added this uh, to my layout by going to themes, page layouts, and I add my new layout style sheet um, and refresh on here. Uh, that just bumped the uh, default text size up to uh, 20 pixels or whatever I just set that on. Um, so you can see that's where the connections all take place. Um, so themes contain your CSS, um, your modules, which you'll use for various functionality, as well as your, your overall page layouts, which combine the CSS and the modules to determine you know, which content gets displayed, how, what layout is forming the, the, the output on the front of the page, um, and then all the content is usually taken care of and managed in articles. Um, that's a general overview. Uh, we'll dive back into some more specifics, including you know a bit more on getting the theme set up for the look and feel of your Contao website uh, in our next tutorial. Thanks very much.